Hello from the Grampians. I'm so excited to be back. The Grampians is one of my favorite places. It's so beautiful. And I actually drove in from Warnwall today, so up through like Dunkeld and oh my God, I haven't driven that way before. The mountains were just insane. Like just you're driving along the range and just the peaks everywhere. Anyway, I love it here. <laughs> so I'm hoping to do some walks. So I've got two nights booked here, then probably heading home, but there's also a lot of rain predicted for the next two days. I know they're sometimes wrong, so hopefully that's the case. But I booked accommodation just in case. Was originally planning to camp. But hopefully we get some walks in and I'm happy to do some no matter what the weather because I need to go do it because it's so beautiful. So I'm just staying in a little cabin at the Breeze Holiday Park Scrampians. It's the one just out of town, like literally a couple of minutes. So I'll give you guys a quick tour. It looks very nice and compact. It's super cheap, so that's all I needed. <laughs> Nothing fancy. I've got a couch as you come in kitchenette but it's got a stove top oh and a little oven grill thing which is good everything i need little table so i can do some work at because if it is raining i will be probably doing a lot of editing and that sort of thing um little bathroom um there is one bedroom in here with <laughs> three very crammed in bunks and the main bedroom well, that will definitely do the job. Keep me nice and dry for the next couple of nights. So first up is Mackenzie Falls. It's about an hour walk, I think, or less even. I just know there's a lot of stairs. I have done this once before. So let's go have a look. so much rain over the last 24 hours is that the lot of water at the waterfall you probably hear it already it sounds beautiful I love that sound and now we begin the steps heading down So I just made it back up to the car park, but I'm going to go check out Broken Falls because the lookout is only 140 meters away, so might as well. So I've just come up to Reed Lookout, which is where the walk to the balconies is, which I've done a couple of times before, and I was just going to show you guys Reed Lookout, but as I said, the weather is not great today, and I can see the lookout from here, and it's just white. <laughs> Absolute white out, you can't see anything, so I'll show you now, but there's nothing to see. I just pulled over to get a quick photo because the fog over the mountains looks amazing. But anyway, my original plan was to go and do the pinnacle now. It's kind of clearing up a little bit, I don't know, it just literally changes every two seconds. So I'm like, I might as well go to the car park, have a look, and probably just start the hike, and then if it turns to crap, I can always turn around. But I think it's supposed to be an hour, hour and a half return, um, and I've probably got two hours of daylight left, so. <laughs> give it a crack all right so the pinnacle walk that i'm doing is from wonderland car park there is a few different ways you can get there but this one seems the best because it goes uh via the grand canyon and silent street so that's what it would look like on a sunny day <laughs> um and that there is the grand canyon so it does say two and a half to three hours i think that's being very generous and allowing a lot of time uh it's only 5.5k return like I get that it's going to be rocky and slippery and slow, but honestly, I reckon two hours max. So I already come across our first hurdle. This sign here says the Pinnacle by Grand Canyon is closed as of September 2020, which is like nearly a year ago. But they are building the Grand Fiends Peak Trail, which is one down the bottom there. So I'm wondering if they've shut it while they build that. But it does say the Grand Canyon's only like 100 meters this way so I might just go have a look at that first but side note I am very excited for the Grampians Peaks Trail once it's done it's going to be like a 13 day hike basically through the whole range of the Grampians so this here is the Grand Canyon I'm going to walk up a little bit further and just have a look but then I'll probably have to backtrack and try and get to the pinnacle so this is where I have to turn around but look how pretty it is Oh, I can't wait for the Grand Prince Peaks trial. Okay, so the detour says the Pinnacle, detour by Grand Canyon, 
loop track south. Tell you what, I freaking love hiking. Oh, it's just so beautiful. Look at this. All around me, just peaks. Nice set path, just some arrows on the ground. Beautiful and cold. Okay, so I want to scratch out this sign. I think it said 1.7, I don't know. But the annoying thing is, that's the top of the staircase that I was just at, but it's closed. But anyway, that's right. I just love how some of the rocks here just balance like that. So crazy. Well, this is fancy. Look at this. I literally just passed a couple that were like in their 70s that are coming back down. So that's it, no more complaining. Not that it was, but it was just hot in this Gore-Tex like rain jacket. It just doesn't freeze, so I might take it off anyway because it's not raining right now. And it's really just that when it does rain, I can put my camera like in there to protect it. God, the Grampians just blow me away every single time. It's so freaking beautiful. All right, 1.4 kilometers down. It does say there's two ways to go to the Pinnacle. Maybe one's just direct, and the other one's via Silent Street. If I haven't been past that yet, I don't know. But I think I'm just gonna take the short one for now, which is 0.7 kilometers. Uh, just because it is starting to get a bit more overcast and dark. Okay, it's about to start pouring, but I found Silent Street. How oh, cute is this? Aww. And there's moss there that there. Oh my god, I love this. It's so cool. And I'm guessing it's called Silent Street because it's like, obviously it's got the big walls on the side, so the wind like doesn't come through. So it's like sheltered. And it is pretty much silent, except for like the little waterfalls that it's created coming down the rocks. Oh, so nice. Oh my god, I'm obsessed. That is the track. <laughs> and it's literally created a waterfall to the rain. And then it leads up to some stairs, and I'm guessing the pinnacle is at the top of that. And then you gotta switch through. Half oh, my bag's getting caught. <laughs> so that was Silent Street. Amazing. Quick little debrief while I'm on the way down. <laughs> Pinnacle is really good. It's actually crazy like how far it sticks out and then you like climb these stairs to the top as well. Anyway, that was that was epic, that was really good. Except for the wind, like it's there's actually a wind warning today for like gale force winds, so I was like, oh I feel like this whole thing's gonna collapse, but anyway, it was fun. Um got some photos and stuff and then turned around because it was starting to get a bit dark and I didn't have that long, but I'm nearly back now and yeah, still got a fair bit of daylight. Definitely coming down was way quicker, but obviously a lot more slippery when it's wet. Made it. I do just want to say this too before I get any hate about hiking solo and it nearly being dark and whatever. I'm quite capable. I've done this a lot of times before. Um, I know what I'm doing. I have the right gear with me. I have all the precautions in place for if something were to go wrong. Uh, I've got an EPUB for say kit, LMO backpack, food, water, everything. So. Before you jump to conclusions, just be mindful. Um, but I am going to make a video also about how to ho safely hike solo because it's something that a lot of people are interested in and kind of don't know how to start out and that sort of thing. And just make sure they are doing it safely, which is very important. Um, so make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for that video as well. So I'm just going to head back to my cabin now. Tomorrow morning I'm hoping to do Mount William. Um, the winds are supposed to get pretty intense tonight, like I said, gale force. Um, <laughs> So we'll see what happens in the morning. And like, if it's gonna be in complete fog anyway, it's probably not worth it. But anyway, we'll wake up in the morning and see how it is. If not, there's probably some other short little waterfalls and stuff I could do instead. So we'll see you guys then. Good morning, guys. Had a pretty good sleep last night. It actually ended up raining heaps and it still is. So I'm glad that I booked a cabin instead of camping, which is my original plan. But yeah, it was nice to actually sleep listening to the sound of that. And this morning woke up and there's been kangaroos everywhere around the cabin. I tried to get some footage, so I'll see if I can put some in here. Just had a nice slow morning, kind of waiting to see if the rain's gonna stop for a little bit, enough to do a hike or something. But it doesn't look like it and I can't even see the tops of the mountains, like they're all just in cloud. So the plan is to just drive into Hall's Gap, have a better look, see what I think. If the hike's got no go, I might try and have a look at a waterfall, see if there's any that are short walks. 
Um, so yeah, I don't know. We'll just go wing it and go have a look and see what happens. Okay, so I just checked out of my cabin at the Breeze um, Holiday Park in the Grampians, the one out of town though. Um, super nice people. I was chatting to the guy for a while just about hiking and stuff and yeah, just really good park. Would highly recommend staying there. And then I mentioned I was going to come up and do Mount William this morning. He's like, oh, it probably snowed up there last night or like maybe, could have. He's like, it was cold enough. So I didn't even realise that it snowed here. So... <laughs> Um, I've come up anyway. I was like, oh, I'll at least just drive as far as you can, which is most of the way. It's actually a fair drive up um, and have a look. So I'm here now. It is still raining like sideways and crazy, but <laughs> very windy. It's still those gale force winds that they predicted. So yeah, the walk from here is 45 minutes to the top. So obviously coming down is going to be a little bit quicker. So maybe like, I don't know, hour and a quarter return, which I'm pretty sure I'm going to do. <laughs> Might as well. I'm not going to let the weather like stop me, even though there's not going to be a view, but... Who cares? It's all part of the experience. Imagine if there was snow up there. How cool would that be? Except I don't think there is. So I parked my car where I think it would least get hit from trees if they fell. <laughs> so I parked kind of like in the middle, not on the sides where the trees are. I don't think anything would happen, but you never know. It's better to be safe. Um, so I've got my backpack with all my gear and I'm going to zip this rain jacket up, put my rain cover on my backpack and head up. So wish me luck. I'm probably not going to get the camera out very much, but I'll try film on my phone. It's actually not as bad as it looks once you're out here. Like it is raining, but a lot of it's just thick cloud and fog. Um, so not too bad. Just very windy and a very cold chill. Let's do it. Tell you what, it's pretty steep and the cold air makes it like <laughs> harder to breathe as well, but it's good. It's a physical and mental challenge. Stay hard as Goggins would say. Oh my God, he was right, there's fucking snow. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh my god, that was crazy. It like full on started snowing. My hands, I literally, look at my face, it's so red. I can't even feel my fingers. Should have broken my gloves during the car. <laughs> really hope you can see that snow. There were two ladies hiking up before me. I passed them going down. And they asked me this cute little snowman. <laughs> oh my God, massive shards of ice literally just fell from the top of that, like in the barrier. But holy crap, they were huge. Risking that, that would probably freaking knock me out, honestly. Can you hear that? Try and get one on the camera. Okay, I made it back. I'm completely drenched, except for my torso. This rain jacket is amazing. I've never been wet through this rain jacket, but um, my pants and my boots are completely soaked through. Like I have two pairs of socks on. These boots have never been soaked through like they are right now. So anyway, I need to somehow try and get changed. Luckily there's no one else in this car park now. <laughs> Into some dry clothes and yeah, dry off and warm up. My hands are like, Oh, barely working, but that was amazing. And I'm so glad there was snow there. I think I'm going to end this vlog here. That was an amazing way to end my time in the Grampians. Uh, there's still heaps of other hikes I want to do here, and I'm definitely going to come back probably with Matt sometime soon and do a heap of hikes. But I'm just so happy that I saw snow here today. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next vlog.